Hello, wise woman. Hello. This is hopefully a quick video to invite you and remind you to really step into the change that you want to create. Like, if you are someone who has been watching a lot of our videos and who in general likes to take in knowledge and learn new things, which is pretty much all the women we've spoken to because they're passionate about the things that they do, passionate about being a really good mum, passionate about doing your work in the world with like alignment and power and passionate about having balance in your life and about not losing yourself, like living in general, in a nutshell, living a really whole life. But there's such a difference between learning all this cool stuff and going, oh yeah, that like speaks to me and um, I know that I need to do that and actually living it, actually creating the change, actually committing to an action and we want to just unpack that a little bit and um, explore the different elements that make those changes happen in your life because we've certainly been there and so many women we've spoken to have really liked things and like even like for me there's been things that I've, I've known I needed to do and things that I've learned in like a um, program or a coaching relationship or um, a video I've watched and I've even like drawn myself a poster or written something all about it and given myself an action plan but not actually done it <laughs> like not or, or at least not actually done it for a for an extended period of time and like done it in a way where I'm really there and I'm committed like there's times when it just kind of has fallen through the cracks so the two things that we're really wanting to talk about. Can we talk about that briefly quickly? That yeah, commitment yeah. piece. <laughs> yep. There's commitment and there's commitment, right? Mm. So there's I want to commit to this and no, I've committed to this, right? And they're different levels of commitment. And the difference between the two of them is the issue of congruency within yourself, right? And it's mm. what Kara and I want to share because it's where... It's where everything, it's where the rubber meets the road, but it's where everything happens in terms of creating the change instead of committing and letting yourself down because you don't do it over and over and over again. So whatever the change is, it, it, there's so many changes people want to make that they don't follow through on. And the issue is your inner game. It's congruency within yourself. Mm, yeah. yeah, that's the two things I was going to mention. Yeah, congruency. Yeah. Congruency, yeah. And I, I had a little experience of that this morning. Um, the, the topic of, like, I, of sometimes I still get into these ruts where I find myself mindlessly scrolling through Facebook and, like, <laughs> total, like, brain drain. And I saw myself doing it this morning and it was, like, this this sense of fierce commitment came up of enough is enough i've been here like way too many times and i have this beautiful poster on my wall of all the like really i've sat with all the things that i have just as much access to that i know really fill me up and bring me back to what's important to me but i haven't actually been doing them in those times when i get in that brain drain sucked into facebook thing so i got in the shower often places like the shower, places where you can really come back into commitment and congruency. And I sat with, like, I'm, I'm recommitting to this right now because it matters to me. My life is important to me. Like, this is, enough is enough. And then I went to, so, for that commitment to happen, like, I'm, I'm committing in this moment, but I also know that life is cyclical and stuff comes up. So I'm going to go a little deeper with that commitment and explore how to get even more congruent into it. And I was started exploring, like, what, what does it really give me? Like, why am I doing this even though I know that it doesn't serve me? And what's another layer down? And just gave myself a little bit more of a, a self-inquiry so that I could be like, yes, I'm even more in this. And also I, there was a little bit more healing in there for me and a little bit more uh, kind of fierce self-love of this is valid, but I'm, I'm ready for something else. Yeah. You are never, as a human being, 
a hundred percent congruent all the time like that's not going to happen right um, and when you are making a change or creating a transformation in your life or transitioning or anything that you're doing like that there will be the need to recommit and recommit and recheck your congruency over and over again and what do we mean by congruency it's what Kay is talking about going down that deeper level and asking yourself how is it serving me to not do what I say I'm going to do okay and I know that's a really weird question to ask but it's a really powerful question because Within us, we're like multifaceted, right? We all have one side of us is hell bent on, yeah, this is us, this is us. And another part is not on board with the plan, right? And it's not the whole of you and it's not truth, but, you know, we have a lot of different conflicting desires and needs and wants in our lives, right? And there will be some part of you that is not 100% on board. Because when you reach 100% on board in something and you attain the congruency, you feel a completely different type of commitment. It's the commitment that says, I am done. Like you kind of feel the old stuff fall away. You go, no, this is a different level of commitment. And if you're really honest with yourself, you'll know, you'll feel into it, you'll feel different levels of commitment. Mm. You know, there's one that says, yeah, I'm going to do it, I'm really going to do it. But you can hear inside you other bits going, no, 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 I'm going to fail at that or, or this is going to work for me or, or it's unsafe or this is unrealistic or whatever it I'm is. I'm not ready. Yeah, <laughs> there's all sorts of stuff. That is a lack of congruency, right? Mm. And that is where you get, that's where you get taken out. And, and sometimes with that self-inquiry to come into congruency, it takes a little bit. Like sometimes... I, like in the shower this morning and in general, I need to ask a few times, like, and what else? And what else? And sometimes I come back to the inquiry again because sometimes what can happen is the habitual answers come in that don't actually bring you to another layer of congruency. So, like, um, go with that, like, a little further and a little further. Like, get more and more honest with yourself. And when you're doing that, this is never about um, trying to exterminate a bit of yourself that's not on board with the plan, like squash it down or kick it out or, you know, kick it to the curb. That's not actually approach to care and I recommend it all. There's a part of you that doesn't feel safe for whatever reason or doesn't feel ready or is scared, whatever the hell it is for you, right? And that's a personal thing. And that part of you needs to be met with love and support and just needs the reminder, right? And you probably have one or two core messages that drive a lot more than you're actually realising. Um, I'm not safe is like a huge one, particularly for women, probably more so for women than men, but like um, this little child part of us is, is constantly, that's not safe, I'm not safe, I don't feel safe in that. And that stops us all the time. That part doesn't need to be beaten up and shoved in the closet, right, and hidden somewhere. It needs love and reassurance. So the act of congruency is about really being honest with yourself, but in a way that is loving, like that isn't like drill sergeant on yourself because I don't find that sustainable for change, the drill sergeant approach. At all. No. And then also tuning into like, for example, this morning, I tuned into what I can do right now that is in the direction of where I really want to go. So tuning into what, what you want, what change you want, which where we started at the beginning was like you often hear these things where you're like, yes, I need that. Coming back to that and once you've connected with those parts of you that aren't on board, like, where can I go? What is the one little thing I can do? Like, I was like, yes, I am committing to sitting down for at least five minutes and doing some meditation. So that's what came to me while I was in the shower. And I, I, I made a commitment to myself with a sense of, like, I have my own back. Like, it doesn't matter what else comes up. It doesn't matter. Like, I'm not discounting these voices and I'm not... Um, making any part of me wrong, but this is what I'm doing. Like, I'm important and this commitment is important and I, I made sure it happened. 
interesting. It's not often about time, okay? It's about creating congruency if you want to create change, okay? Congruency is where it's at. And um, I don't know, I was thinking that yesterday. I, I was super feeling really rushed yesterday. I had a ridiculous amount of stuff on and I caught myself, you know, not walking my talk essentially. Like, oh, I don't have time for all this. Oh, my God, how am I going to make it fit? And there are several times where I just prioritized what made me feel congruent, right? And they were really funny little things. Like I was laughing when I realized what I was doing. But, yeah, you know what? You have enough time to go to the toilet, okay? You don't have to hold it. You can go. <laughs> like how simple is that one? And you know you're really hungry if you actually had lunch before you did the grocery shopping. That would work a lot better. Like being kind to yourself, right? And I was stressing out the whole time. I didn't have enough time. I didn't have enough time. I didn't have time. And it actually had no impact on my day except, well, it had a huge impact on my day, but it didn't on my schedule, right, when I tweaked that stuff. So so much of it is in your heads that we think we don't have the time, we don't have the space. It's not about that. It's about being congruent with yourself and being committed to yourself in some small aspect yeah? and not just letting yourself always fall through the cracks. Mm. So in amongst all of that, all the, like we just came with the words commitment and congruency and shared whatever came, let us know what you got from that and how you're taking it forwards. And don't just let us know for us and don't just let us know in a, oh, this video is great and it speaks to me. Thanks and for I, that feedback too. It's nice. Yeah. But, you know. <laughs> in, in the moment kind of thing. But actually, how are you taking it and really going to live it? Because that's what we're trying to convey and share with you in this video. Mm, there is a big difference. It's important. The first piece, right, in transformation is an awareness, an insight. Okay? Don't stop at the awareness or the insight because there is a massive difference between knowing something intellectually in your head, like going, oh, yeah, that felt truthful, that's a great idea, and knowing it experientially in your body, right? And to know it experientially in your body, you have to do it. Something, right? Do it. Okay. All right. Lots of love to you. We'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs>